question that we haven't touched too much on this yet tonight. Uh, do you treat international students who completed undergraduate education in the U.S. Uh, differently from uh, U.S. citizen students? No, not at all. Um, we're fortunate in that we're a private institution, and if they've studied in the U.S., they're treated like any other student applying from the same institution. They may actually have some interesting experiences that they bring in terms of not being in the majority and how they can answer that on their their secondary application, but they're treated the same as any other um, uh, domestic candidate applying uh, for admission. Now, if they've studied exclusively abroad, and that's regardless of whether they're a U.S. citizen or non-citizen, because if they've studied abroad, everyone is required to then supplement their degree with at least one year of study in the U.S. So that could be someone who's from California mm -hmm. who went to school in England he or she would still need to have a, an additional year of study in the U.S. because the academic system is that different mm -hmm. from ours. Sure. Um, but if there's a, an international student who's applying for admission and has studied uh, you know, at the University of Maryland, he or she will be reviewed like any other student applying from Maryland. The only difference is, and we have nothing to do with it, is if they're admitted they, and they um, want to apply for financial aid, mm -hmm. um, they are uh, aided as a non U.S. citizen, but we do provide fine funding for non-citizens. Hmm, excellent. excellent. And, and I know you mentioned that that's, that's specific to Johns Hopkins. That is specific to Johns Hopkins. Other right, schools right. have their own rules. Um, yeah, they, they do. Some schools won't accept any international student mm -hmm. regardless of where they've gone to school. Some will say um, they will only accept someone who has had uh, the prereqs in the U.S. Some will say we will only accept students who um, have uh, first proffered a um, um, escrow um, and, and showing they can pay four years of tuition mm -hmm. and total cost of attendance. We used to do that, but we stopped doing that about seven, six years ago, six mm -hmm. years ago. Excellent.